Although we're sad to see the end of Hollywood Unlocked with Jason Lee Uncensored, you know we couldn't let you go without recapping the hottest moments from the show. Six years ago, we debuted our first show, and since then, we've had interviews with some of the biggest names in Hollywood. We've also discussed serious matters like politics, domestic violence, and sexual abuse. And we've had some fun and interesting moments with our guests, like interview with professional head Dr. Prisha. Let's take a quick trip down memory lane and look at a few clips of our biggest celebrity sit downs. Like the how you doings come from, you know, after 11 years being on TV, the 11th season starts, you know, September 16th. But yeah, the right. how you doings, honestly, come from it, everywhere. It used to be, no, it used to be Melissa, a stereotype, mm -hmm. a black woman. Mm -hmm. Now it's everybody. Yeah. And White people love you. Uh, Indian Everybody people, loves you. green people, Everybody Asian loves you. people. I get that. How you doing? Men, women, straight, gay, trans, whatever. Everything. When I first met you, we were we all went to Miami on vacation. I will never forget. You know, some of my friends, you know, they may have two, three condoms in case you know they got to hit something off on the way home. But you had the biggest Ziploc bag full of condoms. Safe sex. Yeah, they were. We should safe. Yes. And so they were all gold. So I'm just wondering, like, for the people who now I'm not talking about golden showers. Shout out to our Kelly, but. How do how do the women watching who want to be a part of the Gold Star family? How do they? What are you attracted to? And then I'm just I'm attracted to just winning in life. But yeah. far as <laughs> what Jason talking about with women, okay, he, 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 okay. he, he going he going over my head. But you, so you, how about this? But how about a, a young man like me? If I wanted to start a the gold medal family, what are some things? Yeah, give him some tips. What are some things I should look out? How should I maneuver in that space? Well, one thing you can say to a female that I saw him say is, if you just give me one percent of your trust, I'll earn the other ninety nine percent. That but, was crazy. Oh my god, you got oh, ooh. Got so give me the game. You give me the game. Now, yeah. well, give me the game. He, he, I'm just saying. I mean, you can say stuff like his I, eyes soften whenever he looks at me. <laughs> like he has game. You can say. You can say stuff like, I ain't trying to be your man, I'm trying to be your sponsor. I mean, it's just different things. You all came to Puffy's house, and when you got there, I said to her earlier on the show when we opened that you you were different than you are. Right now, you're turned on. You're Cardi B right now. But when you got there, you were really low-key. I said, hey, Queen Cardi, you're like, nah, 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 I'm not the queen. You, The thing I love about you is you just come off very humble, and I like that. Oh, well, okay. Thank you very much. Some things I'm a little cocky on, you know what I'm saying? So what what are you cocky about the music? Sucking. <laughs> <laughs> what makes you the? Because we've had an, we've actually had an oral doctor here on the show teaching people how to suck. And she blew a cucumber. She did. Went yes. viral. Was was tanning. Tanning. I yeah. want to be that cucumber mm -hmm. so bad. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Just tell me. The, 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 tell me all the time. And it's like, damn. I want. I don't know where it is. But I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna tell y'all because I ain't gonna tell y'all my secrets. But right. what I want to tell people. My secrets. It might and they're going to be good like me. <laughs> it might have. Wait, so what, what, were you ever intimidated, though? Because You know what? I'm not going to lie. I always knew I was nice, son. Really? Nice. Really? I, I love did. that. I, I, knew, I, knew, I knew I had something special. And I knew with Biggie, like, being my coach, I knew that I was going to be great. Mm -hmm. When I knew I was real you good. You listen? I'm, I listened to, he used to call me a lieutenant. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you look on like some of the albums and if you listen, he used to, says lieutenant in some of the songs and stuff. He's talking about me. Mm -hmm. And he always called me a lieutenant because he said he could tell me something and I would put it into motion perfectly. Mm -hmm. He already knew that I had what it took to be. You know, when Biggie passed, it could have been any one of us who had to be the one, mm -hmm. you know? But what, but that that era, I remember watching that on television um, and seeing you and Mary and Dana and just people like it was, you know, because you know you look at you and everybody watching is looking at you as just the icon, the mm -hmm. the figure. Like you're not a real she, person. I don't know how to explain <laughs> no. that. She yeah. got Diana Ross to pat her titty I on know. television. <laughs> okay. Man, those were some big moments in HU's history, and people are still talking about them to this day. Now, outside of the TV and spill, we also address some more serious matters. As you know, Hollywood Unlocked founder Jason Lee created the platform to help celebrities share their truths and regain control of their narratives tarnished by the media. We've also shared political knowledge, and we welcome politicians like Reverend Al Sharpton, Congresswoman Maxine Waters, and Karen Bass. And recently, Black Lives Matter co-founder Patrice Cullors we took a stance against domestic violence and sexual abuse, and we sat down with survivors. Let's take a look at a few moments when we shared our platform to give survivors a voice. I have no reason to lie on anybody, because this is about my truth. But I'm asking, why the 
you teaching a five or six year old how to jack off? Mm. Now that I'm older, now I'm a 35 year old man. I'm saying, okay, they were probably priming me. Okay. Okay. Now they're coming back over to pick me up a little bit more often. And before I know it, you know, my brother, my brother's doing to me before I know it, I'm at the house. So I think there, I think my stepfather kind of was curious about what was really, you know, what MO was, you know, to each his own. I mean, I'm not here to, nor do I want my legacy to be about uh, my cousin. You know, there's all kind of people in the family. People do all kind of so you left while you were pregnant? Yeah, I filed for divorce in April, um, and Knight was born in July. Wow. So what was an intense low? Like, what was the lowest point in your marriage? Um, <laughs> we had a lot. I mean, honestly, like, if I were to really tell the stories, I, I couldn't write. The, like, it was that crazy. Like, it was dark. It was really dark. Like, you know, there was a lot of drinking. There was a lot of just mental and physical abuse. And it just got to the point where I think for me, you know, God is so good because being pregnant, that's, I think that I, I probably would have stayed longer had I not been pregnant mm -hmm. because I really did love him. And because we were married, we weren't dating. We were married. Like this was my person. Okay. He didn't get there to maybe like 30 or 45 minutes afterwards. She must so have the fight was completely over. Yeah. And everything was calm. Yeah. So then he pulls up and then what happens? He stumps up the steps. Um, where that bitch at? Where that bitch at? Hmm? Bitch, I'll kill you. I'm talking with a gun. Bitch, I'll kill you. And he takes the gun, puts the gun in my head. Bitch, I'll kill you. Bitch, I'll kill you. Wait, the gun touched your head? Yeah. I don't know if you've ever been in those kind of scenarios, you know, but no, like. not like that. But like, at the you sound like a person just kind of talking themselves into kind of doing it. Like, bro, for real? Like, you sound like if you was going to do that, you should have used it. Man, those were some tough stories to hear, but also empowering moments that need to be had. And we're happy we were able to help share these truths. Now, HU also provided safe sex knowledge for its audience, especially when we had professional head doctor pre-show on the show. Things went from zero to 100 real quick. Yo, get a hold of yourself. I'm Let good, me I'm say. Good. But I can go again. No, it's Wait. Good. Oh, no, you're fine. Let you me just say that. We gonna turn the music room. back up now. Turn the music back up. Uh, Let me just say, <laughs> she is the head doctor. Yes, because <laughs> I ain't seen it. That, I mean, this is what I this is what I learned from it. Because I was eating my cucumber. Because I ain't doing I ain't doing all that. What did you learn, Jason? I learned that thou shalt not give up. It's you have to be resil resilient. And you see, my eyes are watery. You were not playing. <laughs> Man, we had some wild times on Hollywood Unlocked with Jason Lee Uncensored. We thank you all for joining us on this wild ride, and we hope you stick around to see what's next to come. You know Jason Lee's always up to something, so be sure you don't miss out on any updates, and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on all social media. This is DJ Damage signing off. Peace.